The construction sector of any nation plays a fundamental role in defining its socio-economic growth. Situated in the west of Africa, Senegal has been a busy country in the last few years, with many mega-projects in the West African region. Building structural infrastructure is one of the foundations of the emerging Senegal plan. Under the country's strategic plan, large-scale infrastructure projects, which include the completion of a new international airport, improvement of the road network, the development of a toll highway and other interdepartmental roads, and the construction of a rapid train, will help speed up their development agenda. Senegal's economic growth has been among the highest in Africa between 2014 and 2018, remaining above 6% annually. Since early 2020, the COVID pandemic has significantly changed Senegal's economic outlook. Growth has slowed significantly in the services sector such as tourism and transport, however the construction sector still remains strong, with many ongoing mega-projects taking shape in the beautiful West African country. In this video, we will take a look at the 10 of the most impressive ongoing projects in Senegal. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos. So without much delays, here are the 10 most impressive mega-projects in Senegal. Number 10. Cap de Bitch Power Plant Project. The government of the Republic of Senegal has officially laid the foundation stone for the 300 megawatts Cap de Bitch gas-fired power plant project. The gas plant is expected to begin operations in phases from next year, supporting the Senegalese government's target to increase its generation capacity with a greater utilization of natural gas and renewables. The plant is expected to be the biggest power plant in the West African country upon completion, with the capacity to generate approximately 25% of the power consumed in the country, providing the equivalent electricity needed to power up to 500,000 homes. It will allow the country to increase its power and move closer to its goal of achieving universal access to energy by 2025. Number 9. Point Serene Ryu Hotels. In 2019, Ryu Hotels and Resorts which is 49% owned by Tui, purchased a 61-acre site in the Point Serene area of Senegal. The cash pledge covers both the purchase of the land and the funds to develop two properties on the site. The first will be an approximately 500-room Hotel Ryu Classic Hotel, while the second will be an approximately 800 guest Ryu Palace development. In a report earlier this year in February, Ryu confirmed the construction work for Ryu Babab is almost completed, and the facility is scheduled to be opened later this year. They went on to state that, plans are ahead for the construction of Ryu Palace Hotel in the same vicinity. According to Ryu, they are working within the guidance laid down by SAPCO, Society for the Development and Promotion of the Senegal Coast and Tourist Zone, to further the Senegalese authorities' drive to develop tourism. The hotel operator added its investment would strengthen its commitment to Africa, where it currently have five hotels in Cape Verde, one in Tanzania and five in Morocco. Number 8. Senegal National Railway Rehabilitation. Senegal's state-owned railway company, Grands Trains du Senegal SA, recently unveiled a program to revamp the national rail and logistics space in Senegal, entailing the rehabilitation of 209 kilometers of rail, the rehabilitation and construction of nine stations and rest stops, acquisition of rolling stock, construction of two depots and five dry port terminals, and the acquisition of 12 cranes. Senegal has 906 kilometers of railway at 1,000 mm gauge. This is part of the Dakar-Niger railway, which crosses the border to Mali. The new project is expected to be extended to revitalize the historical rail links between Dakar and Bamako, the capital of Mali. Number 7. Diamiadio Stadium Project. The government of Senegal has launched construction of a new 50,000-capacity stadium in Diamiadio in the West African country. According to Senegalese President Macky Sall who performed the launch ceremony, the stadium is destined to stage events at the 2026 Youth Olympic Games. The project will cost $258 million, and Turkish company Suma is the project contractor. The Diamiadio Olympic Stadium with its capacity of 50,000 will be a multi-purpose stadium, which can host football, rugby and athletics, in Diamiadio. It will be the national stadium of the Senegal national football team, once completed. <music> 
Number 6, Senegal Municipal Solid Waste Management Project. The objective of this solid waste management project is to strengthen the management of solid waste in the country and to carry out improvement of solid waste management services in selected districts. The project is divided into three parts. Strengthening sector governance and institutional capacity, improving waste management services for Great Dakar, and improving the livelihood of waste pickers. The project will be carried out under the financial wing of the World Bank, and it is expected to be completed in 2026. The project will significantly boost public administration and waste management of the country, once completed. Number 5. Dakar Bus Rapid Transit Pilot Project. This project of the Dakar Bus Rapid Transport Pilot Project is currently in development and the tendering process is in the late phase. The project is expected to enhance the urban transportation of the people by the development of a bus rapid transit corridor. The public transport networking will be carried out in a way that will ease the burden on routes that have heavy traffic. The staggering amount of this project will be reflected in its technical assistance, operating costs and sustainable monitoring of the entire project. This project will also stress residents to focus more on road safety rules. Number 4, Port of Barney Sendu Project. The bulk port of Barney Sendu is a project initiated by the state of Senegal to support the large import and export volumes of mineral, hydrocarbon and cereal products in and out of Senegal. The project will unclog the capital and provide users with a modern infrastructure asset which will facilitate the reception of large vessels and therefore lead to a considerable reduction in the costs of loading and unloading of seaborne products. The port will have an initial capacity of 20 million tons and will handle 15 million tons of commodities in its first year of operations. The port of Barney Sendu is structured into three terminals. The first terminal, with a capacity of 2.5 million tons, will be reserved for the treatment of liquid cargoes, and it will also serve as a depot for petroleum products as well as for gas storage. The second terminal on the other hand will be dedicated to minerals such as phosphates, iron, bauxite, zircon, etc., while the third terminal is meant to receive goods such as grain bagged on site, oil seeds, boiler making, and construction materials. Upon completion of the entire construction works next year, Port of Barney Sendu will become the largest bulk port in the whole of the West Africa region. Number 3, Dianiadio Lake City. Dianiadio is a part of the collective development program of the Government of Senegal under the leadership of President Macky Sall to revitalize Senegal's economy. The development of the new city is taking place around 30 kilometers from Dakar, close to the Blaise Diagne International Airport, which opened in December 2017. The Diamniadio Lake City is one of its suburbs. The idea behind the development is to ease the population pressure on Dakar. On completion, the new city will be connected to Dakar through a 32 km express highway, which will reduce the travel time from 90 minutes to an average of 30 minutes. Diamniadio is also connected to Dakar by a new railway line, the Train Express Regional, which by the end of 2021 will be part of the link between Dakar and Blaise Diagne International Airport. The project which started in 2014 is expected to accommodate 350,000 people upon completion. By 2035, Diamniadio Lake City is set to become one of Senegal's most modern urban centers if the plans laid by President Macky Sall prove successful. The city, which is being constructed on a vast plot of uncultivated land, is viewed as an essential investment in the future of Senegal. The government is spending $2 billion on the project, which is just one element in a nationwide strategy to promote economic growth in the country. Number 2, Train Express Regional Dakar. The Train Express Regional is airport trail link in Senegal that connects Dakar with the Blaise Diagne International Airport. It is being built by French companies NG and Thales Group at a contract value to $2.4 billion. Travel time between the city and the airport is expected to be under 50 minutes. The Train Express Regional will serve 14 stations on a 55 km route. Ridership is estimated at 115,000 passengers day. The rolling stock will consist of 15 four-car Alstom's Caradia polyvalent dual-mode multiple units. The line will be built in two stages, with the first covering 36 kilometers from the city of Dakar to Diamniadio, 
while the second stage covering 19 kilometers more to the airport. Construction began in the third quarter of 2016 and is expected to be completed in 2021. Number 1. Akon City. The Green City Project, known as the Akon City, is being carried out by precisely the person who the city is named after. The project was first announced in Senegal by Akon along with the Senegal Minister of Tourism, Elion Saran in 2018. According the world-famous rapper, he was inspired by the movie Black Panther, and he refers to Akon City as a real-life Wakanda that uses the latest technologies of blockchain and cryptocurrency. In late 2020, Akon laid down the foundation for the commencement of the green and futuristic Akon city in Senegal. The ultra-modern smart city will be located on a 2,000 acres of land in the coastal village of Mbodian, 100 kilometers from Dakar, near the Leopold Cedar Senger International Airport. The first phase of the project will be completed in 2023. It will have roads, a Hamptons hospital campus, a Hamptons shopping mall, residences, hotels, a police station, a school, a landfill for the city's waste, and a photovoltaic solar power plant to supply the whole area. A city built for the future, Akon City, is planned as the most remarkable project in the history of Senegal. So there you have it. Those were the 10 most impressive mega projects in Senegal. If you enjoyed this video and want more definitive information about trends and mega projects in Africa, subscribe to the New Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our exciting videos.